here, huh? What you doing? You playing with the bike? You playing with the bike? <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is the Saturday before Christmas and we are just hanging out right now. Morning was very busy. I had yoga class and then I had to go food shopping because we needed stuff for the next couple days at Christmas time and there's an ice storm that has just gone through. So traveling is just so tough. Chris went out right now to get some more stuff that we need for over the next couple of days for Christmas and it's like, holy moly, my daughter's car has broken down so I gotta go out in this and pick her up and bring her to work. And then later tonight, pick her up from work. Um, so at first it didn't look like I had a lot to do today because guess what? I'm done wrapping my gifts. I'm done most stuff. I'm cooking tomorrow. Um, so you'll be able to follow us. I don't know how much adventures are happening today, but um, you know tomorrow I'll be cooking and stuff. And then we're going to be going to my parents' house late tomorrow night. Oh, it seems late to me. We have to leave here at 6 or a little after 6 after my daughter gets out of um, work. And it just seems so late. I'm like, oh God, I'm gonna be out so late that night. <laughs> it's like I'll only be out till like 10. Look at this guy. He's obsessed with the tree right now. So I'm hoping he doesn't go over there, but. What you doing? No, we're not gonna go see that. Nope, nope. So Killian and I are playing in the playroom. We have been cleaning this place out. Last weekend we cleaned some stuff out, so. Um, because Santa's coming and Santa brings toys, so we already had too many toys. We had to clean some of them out. So we cleaned some stuff out last weekend. Um, maybe I'll get to do it next week. And I wanted you to see what's going on outside. For those of you who don't live in like a snow climate, this is what we deal with here in New England. <laughs> Wet slushiness sometime. Anybody? Gosh, look at this little guy. He's like playing with the tree. I just, I did my best to like clean up some of the stuff. It looks good, but whoa, wait, Zoe. What you doing, my friend? Is that dad? No, daddy's not home yet. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of treat, uh, a couple of presents tucked in in the back. Um, but for the most part, I have to like put the presents upstairs in my office because we don't bring them down here. Between the dogs and Killian, those things would be destroyed. So, <laughs> anyway, just relaxing right now. I'm just yeah, what else? What else do you want to do? Oh, loud. You want to get loud? Yeah, you want to get loud. <laughs> Just show you this. It's so cute. This is Marina when she was a little girl. So that's my oldest daughter. Like when she was little. So this was her first Christmas. It was in 1999. So you can see the 99 on the very top. That's her 99. <laughs> And this was me back in, oh, let me see the, there it is, Valerie, 1989. So that was me back in 1989. So how old was I? Seriously, was that 89? No, 83, sorry. This is 83, sorry. So 1983, I was six years old there. Do you see the resemblance? I think I still look about the same. <laughs> but, Torian, he doesn't, I'm not sure, because since he likes the Patriots, I'm not sure if I, I don't know, it's, it's because Killian won't let me, like, take his phone. Killian won't? Yeah, that's... Yeah, Killian will probably, like, if it's not being his football, he's not going to let you take the football, I don't think. What are you doing over let here? Me see. Messy. What are you doing over here, Messy? Do you like this? Do you like this, though? Should I keep it? I don't know. Do you like it? I'll give him a seat. You looking for Killian? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, for Patrick? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were giving him the fidget spinners. You want to give him something else? Yeah. Don't do that. Patrick might see you on it's, YouTube. Yeah. I'm also yeah, going to yeah. post it after. Yeah. Or posting it on Christmas, so he would have already gotten his gift by then. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So that's a good thing. It's a good I'm thinking. I'm not sure if I should give him this or something else or something. Because he likes the Patriots. 
Yeah, I know. I know. That might be a nice a nice thing, too. Maybe he likes Pokemon. So we ended up um, getting Marina from her boyfriend's house um, so she could get to work. And we had dinner at Not Your Average Joe's, which was really great. I'm gonna just and um, now we're at the house and we're just like finishing up some um, final gifts and just kind of hanging out for a little bit um, before we start doing bedtime duties. Tomorrow is a cooking day, so we'll get to cooking. Hello and Merry Christmas Eve day. <laughs> um, we are actually just having a little lunch right now. I think it's like 11.30, quarter 12 or so. We're not going to be leaving here until about 6 to go to my parents tonight. Um, Marina's working, so we're going to leave once she's out of work. <laughs> yes, you having some lunch? Are you having some lunch? A pre-holiday lunch? Yeah. Leon's eating some pasta, some leftover pasta from dinner last night. And once he's done with that, I'm going to start cooking. Um, I've got some a pineapple upside down cake to make for my mom's tonight. And um, then I'm going to make the scone dough for the cranberry scones I uh, make for Christmas. So what I usually do is I make the loaves the day before, let them sit, and then I just heat them. Like I just have to throw them in the oven for 15 minutes and they're nice and piping hot and warm and yummy for right after we, you know, for our breakfast in the morning, like after we open our gifts, we usually eat breakfast. So. Yes, are you gonna have some this year? Are you gonna have a cranberry scone this year? Yeah, that face said it all. That face said it all, yeah. yummy so um, it's got a little bit more time to cook like 15 minutes but I want to show you something because I'm starting to make the cranberry scones and I don't think I'm going to film the entire process because it's like a family recipe but I do want to show you the cranberries I have this um, the manual processor I think it's called the, the manual food processor or the um, crank uh, food processor from Tupperware and it looks like this and it has this crank thing on the top. And I'm telling you, this thing works so, so good. Like I have these um, cranberries right here and we put them in, I put them in here and then you just like pull this crank and it cranks and I'll, I'll demonstrate in a second. And it comes out looking just like this. And it only takes like a few cranks. I'm trying to get it to focus here. Um, it only takes a few cranks and it's like so super easy. In fact, and it's like there's, it's manual, so there's not, it's the cleanup is actually pretty minimal and you're not like having to plug anything in. Cause we have a super small kitchen and a small um, counter space. Well, actually it's more of a small counter space area than it is a small kitchen. So um, everything is key <laughs> and to maximize space to cook. So um, let me show you this working in operation cause it's really, really neat.
voila! Alright, so here's the finished product of the Pineapple Upside Down Cake. Um, I was using the pan, I think the pan is lovely because it has these sculpted edges on it, which is really nice. Um, but you see the indentation of the other. I only had four, I got a four pack by accident instead of eight. I think I was supposed to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so an eight pack would have been perfect, but I didn't have eight, I got a four. So, um, I had these other areas where the, um, pineapple could have gone, but honestly, I think it kept everything in shape and looked really good. I think it looked lovely. And then this is a nice mix that um, Chris has sauteing right now. That's for our Christmas dinner tomorrow. We're going to do a roasted chicken and salmon and roasted veggies for our like Christmas dinner as a family. And I put the scones in. So um, the scones are in the fridge. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't show you the scones. <laughs> but um, I'll figure some way of showing you the scones. Whether maybe you know you can see my scones on Instagram and Instagram and Snapchat if you follow me there. So I'll put my my handles down below so you can check that out and check out those pictures. Um, and I will post those on Christmas Day um, so that you can see those go through. And um, yeah, that is uh, that is all for the cooking right now. I'm exhausted. I'm not feeling well right now. It's a little after two, and we're leaving in about four hours, oh, less than four hours or so, no, about four hours for my parents' house, so it's going to be a, kind of a late night. Killian's tired. I'm going to take a load off and have a Diet Coke and hopefully put my feet up because I'm not feeling well. All right, so it is just about six o'clock. We're going to be heading out to my mom soon and uh, waiting for Marina to come home from work and then we're going to head out. And um, I got my outfit OOTD on today. So I've got this, I love this top so much. I got this at TJ Maxx and it was on the clearance rack um, back in the fall. So I got it for, for tonight. So first time I'm wearing this. Um, the pants are um, modern vintage, vintage boutique. Um, don't mind the shoes for right now because that's not what I'm wearing tonight. I'm wearing my black boots also from TJ Maxx and This is a rocks box. These are rocks box. So that's what I'm wearing So I am so excited today to head out and see family We've got all our stuff here Ready to go. So I just want to wish all of you a very merry Christmas season and thank you so much for visiting my channel today and watching our holiday prep and I thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Mwah. Namaste. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.